it's Hockey Night in Oshawa here at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology's Campus Ice Center. With a history dating back to 1906, Canadian inter-university sports have long been on the map. The league today includes teams from every province and 11 sports for both men and women who aim to excel in athletics as well as academia. And this night, the hometown UOIT Ridgebacks are facing the Nipissing University Lakers from North Bay. Here in Oshawa, their Ridgebacks team is in their eighth season on the ice, and the impact of the team on campus keeps growing. We provide a, a great service for student athletes on campus or, and students on campus to provide a, an experience when a, someone goes to university that's, that's something other than the academic side, providing a, an opportunity for people to get together in a social environment to enjoy sport, which many people do. But the impact of varsity sports in Canada isn't limited to the university and college campuses. It extends into the community as well. The community uh, is a huge part of, of university sport and, and the university in general. Um, so the Durham region is, is a big part of, of UOIT and, and UOIT is a big part of Durham region. So in turn we're, we're giving back to the community with the, with the team and the athletes that are part of it and, and helping to, to grow Oshawa and grow the Durham region to, into something great. And even today talk about community, there's Chuck-a-Puck happening in the second intermission that's going directly to the Durham Food Bay. Well, the community is very involved. In the stands, we find students, locals, and even proud grandparents. Well, it's exciting to watch them play. It's nice that he's continuing and continuing his education at the same time. Balancing athletics while maintaining academic excellence means that many of the players essentially have two full-time jobs. Zobadi, a member of the women's hockey team recruited to UOIT from BC's Okanagan Hockey Academy, says it's worth it. Because I love the sport, I love my teammates, I love the game. It's hard to do, you know, the hockey and the schooling, but it's, it's worth it in the end and you get a great education out of it and you get to do what you love. It's a big schedule. I mean, most athletes are committing probably 35 to 40 hours a week in terms of practice. Uh, travel, games, uh, so you're right, you know, 6 a.m. practices, they're here by 5.30, they're, and they're on the ice four or five days a week uh, just to practice alone, so a, a huge commitment on the part of the athletes. Many people working behind the scenes to bring everything you see here together are also students. We hire a lot of students, uh, both from the college and the university side. They're very much involved. I love my school, and I love the Ridgebacks, and I've just always been involved in athletics, so I thought it'd be really cool to be involved with it. So this winter, maybe instead of staying at home on a Friday or Saturday night, you can head out to the local rink at the local college or university and you can check out what's going on because the popcorn's hot, the ice is cold, the players are skilled. I'm Harrison Roos and this has been a Sun News Network Special Report.